what is the the level of debt, what is the trend that we're seeing. Um, and then I, I think from there, then we'll go into one of the questions here around debt. Uh, perhaps I could um, just um, uh, touch, touch on that uh, mm -hmm. by saying that the question of the Chinese debt trap diplomacy has been in the public discourse in the, uh, it's one of the latest myths, I would say, about Chinese engagement on the African continent. Um, a lot of the data that is emerging um, lately suggests that whereas China in the past has been perceived to be rather generous, particularly in the infrastructure financing, um, an area of financing that other bilateral and multilateral lenders have not been quick to uh, engage with, particularly on the African continent. Um, so it is seen therefore, and of course, um, infrastructure financing is significantly um, much larger in terms of portfolio compared to other social services, such as education, healthcare, democracy, and so on and so forth. Um, and so that quickly ballooned the African debt portfolio uh, to China. But that is not necessarily to argue that there is a certain ulterior motive behind Chinese lending to the African continent, in this case, so as to be the puppet master to pull the strings and manipulate African countries to dance to Chinese tune. I can cite the example of Kenya, um, whereas Kenya is heavily indebted to China significantly to the point that it's causing fiscal challenges to the government presently. Um, there was a period in the last three years when the previous government, um, the president and, um, um, and, and uh, senior officials in the planning and finance ministry sought an extension of uh, the railway from Nairobi onward to the port town of Kisumu on the border with Uganda, uh, but China declined. China made an assessment that Kenya had um, um, a significant portfolio and they could foresee that Kenya might experience challenges in servicing the loan and they put the brakes on the lending. So this is a good example to show that China doesn't necessarily have limitless um, pass strings that can it can just open to any African country that goes asking for, for loan extensions and so forth. So um, perhaps some of my, my other colleagues can comment on this, but from my research and from my experience on the Eastern African region, this myth has not been born to be true.